I had a seventh grade math teacher. She was out sick and she hadn't been able to teach the students something about multiplying positive and negative numbers, so I did. And when they came back, they knew how to do it and she was really annoyed with me. I was deciding, you know, what grad school I wanted to go to. I met with Glenn. He was friendly, very open. Coming here, I felt very comfortable, and I felt like I was part of, of a group that respected each other. From day one, I like to, as far as possible, treat them as my colleagues. To really be a good scientist, you have to be able to come up with new ideas. What are the things we don't understand? And come up with new ways of approaching those problems, and Glenn is really good at doing that. What gives me the most satisfaction is when they start asking questions that I didn't ask. There's a whole skill set involved there. I think Glenn just has this kind of innate energy. We can tell when he's coming down the hall because he has this very distinct power walk. <laughs> when you ask Glenn a question, uh, depending on his level of enthusiasm, he might get really wide-eyed and very enthusiastic. Why didn't I put the normal force in the center? Why did I put it out here? He's very understanding and he is very quick to say, is there anything I can do to make this easier on you? Do you need some time off? I don't want you working 24-7, 365 days a year. You have to have a life because you're going to think better. When you actually finally figure out how to calculate something, that's a huge rush. But Glenn tries really hard to, on top of making sure that we're prepared scientifically for our future careers, that we also have a lot of other skills like being able to network, knowing how to speak confidently. If we want to put where they act, it's in the middle, right? So for the tabletop, it's here. For the post, it's here. For the base, it's here. He told me, I think it was his 12th birthday, it might have been earlier, he had all of his friends go with him to tour the water treatment plant in Toronto. <laughs> I thought I w we should do something interesting for a birthday, so one year we went to the sewage treatment plant. There was cake and, you know, cake and ice cream involved too, so. I asked him, you know, where his past students had ended up, and he could list, you know, every single student one by one and tell me where they were now. Glenn's attitude is definitely that the students should be in charge of their projects. Your students are like your children. They have another shot at it. They have another shot at doing great work and making great discoveries. In many ways, your students are likely to be your greatest legacy.